Clarissa and I met on June 16, 2006 at Brooklyn Jazz Cafe on the south side of Lamar. And what attracted me to Clarissa uh, the first time that I saw her was how much she was enjoying eating her food. I mean, she had her elbow in there and her head was leaning to the side and she was really, really enjoying her food. And she was with a couple of girlfriends. And so I just went over to the table and I said, you know what? I see that you really enjoy that meal. And that uh, really broke the ice for us and our conversation started from there. Yep, and I just thought he was just bold to even be talking to me while I was eating because I do not play when it comes to my food. I am serious about my food. I happened to be very hungry that night and I did not care who was looking at me or what was going on. I was hungry. And so that was the way he was able to, to make his move over to our table, a table full of women, which I thought was very bold for one man to come to a table full of women and just strike up a conversation. Conversation. So I, I, I thought that was pretty nice and we just really started talking and just hit it off from day one, from day one. We really did. Our first conversation we found out we had a lot in common including our faith and some different goals and dreams that we wanted to uh, accomplish. And exactly a year from the day we met, we actually got married. We had a, a, an exactly one year courtship to where we just learned as much as we could about each other. When we got married, we knew that we were going into a step family situation, so we knew it was going to be a sticky situation. We knew marriage was going to be tough from the forefront, from the beginning, but we knew with kids in the mix of it, it was really going to be a challenge. So we knew that we needed to, to come together. We have to do everything. We're committed to doing everything together. Together. That, that's the key in our marriage is, is commitment and whatever it is that we go through we talk about the kids together we talk about the rules we talk about discipline we talk about everything communication is the key in our marriage and the boys absolutely loved her when they met her uh, they met her the first time around a game of Monopoly mm -hmm. uh, we sat there and we played for hours and hours and I got a chance to interact with them and her to see how they, we all got along together and uh, we just got along beautifully you know I couldn't have asked for anything more I knew it was going to be very serious for someone to come in and uh, soon to be married to me and have a almost teenager at the time and a, and a soon to be teenager mm -hmm. so it was going to be a tough road but I mean she has handled it brilliantly yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. the boys are awesome and, and we just we just love our marriage and they see the love that we have for each other they see the ups and down. We allow them to see when we have arguments, when we make up. They, we, they need to see that forgiveness side of a marriage and so we are, we're sure to show them that. You know, we apologize to each other. We show them that you can go through the good and the bad together. That's what a marriage is all about. You're going to have your ups and your downs but as long as you're committed to each other and you stick together, you're going to be good. We, our, our biggest difference is I think is he's a big picture person and I'm a detailed oriented <laughs> person. And so it, it, we mix, we mesh together but it, that's our biggest difference. I need details. He's already down the road with whatever is going on. I, I, I no, we don't ever worry about details. Let's just go ahead and get get it done. Let's just uh, get it done. And that's that's something that we we really use to balance each other out. And, and it took me quite a while to understand her mindset because I am big picture. I, I see how to get it done. I see that it's going to be done. But she kind of backs me up and balances me out and says, "Listen, these are the small steps that you may be missing yeah. in the big picture." Yeah. So I mean, it's just been a perfect balance and you know I just appreciate her so much and everything that she brings to my life and also to the lives of my boys.